Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do my May empties and these are products that I have used up in May. Not necessarily start to finish but just happened to be done. I do have some declutters as well this month. What's new? Nothing. <laughs> but there aren't that many empties. Mostly declutters to be quite honest. But I do have some exciting products to show you guys. So for May I have decluttered five items, which I think is a nice amount. It's not too many and it's not just one or two products. I have some makeup and I have some skincare and then I have a perfume. If you have seen my Project Pan videos, you probably know what they are. Except for one that I haven't, two that I haven't talked about in videos. The first makeup product that I am going to declutter is the W7 Brow Broadway Liquid Brow Shaper. It has this applicator, so it's thin and wide, and it's a very, very, very cool toned and quite dark. I don't know what to call it. Shaper. Wow. It, yeah, it, it's kind of a liquid that just fills in your eyebrows, but it gets it, it gets dull very, very quick, and because of that. You can't fill out your entire eyebrow if you have big brows, for example, or at least I think so. I do store it upside down. That should not be the problem here, that the product doesn't reach the tip. It's just not for me to sculpt and shape your eyebrows with this kind of format. So I'm going to declutter this and see if anyone needs it. It is pretty new to my collection. I have used it uh, like five times or so. The next two makeup products that I'm going to declutter are from my whole collection Project Pan. So if you have seen the update, you know what these are. The first one is my lip liner from W7. It is the Kiss and Gel Soft Gel Lip Liner. These are really, really nice formula wise. They are really creamy. It's like a gel texture, so they're really creamy. I sharpened this so much that I don't even want to anymore and the product just keep falling out so I think it has broken off uh, a lot down the pencil. I, I can't explain for some reason today but this is going. I don't want to spend my time on sharpening the whole pencil and not getting it used so I'm just going to clutter it because it's not worth my time. I do like these a lot. I have three more. Hopefully they are not broken. So I can actually use them. The next one is an eyeshadow from Maybelline. It is the Mono eyeshadow, I think. And this is called Cover Fizz. I have departed this from the original packaging. This is just too sheer for my liking. And when I try to build it up, it gets patchy and it creases on me. It creases even though I use a glitter glue or a concealer or an eye primer. Any, any base you can think of, it creases and gets patchy and it's not really opaque. So this shimmer shadow is not for me. I, it might be good as a topper, but I really don't care about that. I basically don't want to waste my time and I feel like I'm wasting my time on this shadow. Now that I have 10,000 eyeshadows that are better than this. So if I want a topper, I can use a glitter or something, not this. So. This is going from my collection and I'm excited because then I have one eyeshadow less to worry about and finish in my collection. The perfume that I'm going to declutter is this one. It is the Black Onyx Green Eau de Parfum. The lid is shaped like an apple, so this is supposed to look like an apple, but I don't really care about this perfume. I don't want to use it, I don't reach for it, even though I had it in a few product projects. It doesn't smell very nice and it doesn't last on me, so I don't really see the point of me trying to pan it and trying to use it when, you, when I don't really like it. So, this is going for my collection. I am not sad about it. I'm actually really happy because now I can use some of the perfumes that I actually like. Then I'm going to declutter this skin tonic. It is from Skin Active Formula. It is a really, really big bottle. This breaks me out. I have considered just using it on a Q-tip and 
clean up when I make mistakes uh, when I do my makeup but I really don't want to have this just for that so this is going from my beauty stash and I'm not going to miss a skin sonic my skin is very nice behaved right now so I don't need anything to like balancing it out you know which is a toner's purpose I don't want to use anything that breaks me out and this breaks me out I think it is because alcohol is like the second ingredient and I don't know why I bought it because of that um, and perfume is the second or second to last I don't want to use this let's take the non makeup products because there aren't that much I finished a pack of cotton rounds I have considered buying some reusable cotton rounds and if you know any good ones please let me know in the comments because I have really considered that um, instead of buying these all the time. I like the idea of reusing stuff and cotton rounds shouldn't be that hard to find. Last two beauty items that I have for this empties are two toothpaste. This is the one that I have used until this day. It is from C Signal. And uh, yeah, it's German and I buy them at the German drugstore, but I don't go there because <laughs> I live in Denmark and I don't want to order it online. So unless I go to the German drugstore and I see them, I will buy them, but I'm just going to stick with Sendium, which I think is Danish and if not, then they are European. Uh, I have no idea. It says UK, so maybe it's UK. I don't know. I don't like Sendium toothpaste, actually. They don't foam up. I don't know what... I I don't know anything about toothpaste for, for the words, you know, but I do know this doesn't foam up when you use it. I prefer this over this, but I can get this in the local drugstore supermarket, so I'm just going to use this. Then for the makeup part. I have used up my Dove 7 Set It Up Special FX Finishing Powder. I actually miss this a little bit. I am using the pressed version and it's not as good as the loose version. And I think there are more product in this. Yeah, there are 20 grams in this huge, huge container. I don't know how, the, how much there is in the pressed version, but I did like this one much better. This is not a setting powder, this is a finishing powder, so it blurs out your, your skin. But I did use this up when I was trying to pan a matte foundation that doesn't need to be set. And because I didn't set my matte foundation, they don't look cakey. And that is what I really liked about this setting powder and I miss it for that. <laughs> then I used up this W7 Glow Guru Illuminating Face Cream in Pink Glow. I say use up because I departed it into a body lotion that I am working on so it gets a glow. Yeah, in one or two months it will be done anyway. So I don't really mind this uh, calling this done. I use this as a face cream on your skin after a primer, before a primer, whatever. And then I try to mix it in with foundation which I really really liked because it gave it a glow. For example, a matte foundation would match this really really nice if you really like a dewy look to your skin and to your foundation this will be very very nice to use my battery is dying perfect and i don't have any spare i have the goof proof brow pencil from benefit i really really like this it comes with a brush and the one end and then the product it is the bigger one of those i really really like this i'm not going to buy it again because i'm over pencil eye products um, because I'm just a brow girl, but it is really, really nice and pigmented and really, really quick and easy to do a brow with. Used up a bay, a top coat from W7. It is the big shine top coat. It's nice. It lasts on your nails and so on. And then I have a W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. This is really, really nice. Not the best on the market, but it's really nice. This is the orangey, oranges orange. There are more product than the scrubby things in this, so that is why I'm not going to buy any more of them. I have three still, so I'm going to have that forever, <laughs> but it's not the best on market, but it's fine and it does a job. I have, and this is actually not a makeup product, it is the Benefit Their Real Makeup Remover. Just a little bit of a sample. It, 
it, this is a cream and I don't like a cream makeup remover so I'm not going to buy this again and Benefit is not cruelty free anyways and that's also a point for the Groove Proof it's not cruelty free and I try only to buy cruelty free stuff so I can't buy this again even if I wanted to. Two products, hopefully I can do it before my battery runs out. I have an eyeliner from Gosh, and this just came out of the packaging so there aren't any more in it and it was really hard to sharpen because it was drying, uh, drying out you know and now it's done. One eyeliner less and I was almost going to call this done anyway so I, it was okay. This was a really really creamy and really nice eyeliner Again, at the end it got very dry, but when it was fresh, it was really, really nice and it didn't transfer on my eyelids up here in the crease, which is a big deal when you have hooded eyelids. So this is really, really nice. I don't think I will buy it again because I like liquid liner more than a pencil. The last one I have is my Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. This is a primer, not really... Uh, this is a primer for you that doesn't have oily eyelids. I can use this, it doesn't last as long as it would if you didn't have oily eyelids. I did scrape everything out so it is completely empty as you can see. It does intensify your eyeshadows because it has a wider, more white base to it. And uh, it would be amazing if you don't have oily eyelids. I do, so it's not amazing for me. I can definitely see that because I'm using another one than this right now, obviously. So I wouldn't buy this again. I would recommend it if you want a lighter base to your eyeshadows and if you don't have oily eyelids. As I have said 10,000 times. As I said, my battery is running very, very low. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below for more videos like this. I do a lot of product planning on my channel. And here and there, I try to declutter some because I don't want to work on products that I don't like. I would love for you to be a part of this small family. And until my next video, please take care. Bye.